Aquarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your October 23rd through October 29th weekly love reading. This is intended to be a love reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, and Rising. I have pre-shuffled these cards, so whatever falls out, I am going to lay out. And if uh, you can explain to me how the moon really, the moon sign really, really, really applies, what, how that applies to you, the moon sign, not just the reading, how does a moon sign apply to the reading? You're watching your moon sign because, because why? Explain to me because why? I might change my mind. Many people watch all these different aspects to get the reading that they want to hear. That's not the case with Soul Source Tarot. We want you to get the message that you need to hear, not the one that you want to hear. Okay? So that's why I don't send you searching for all different kinds of videos to find the one that resonates the most with you. Okay? Your sun sign and your rising sign resonate the most with you according to how I do my readings. That may not be the case with other readers and other astrologers and other psychics or whatever. This is how I see it. All right, we're gonna get back to your reading now. Uh, this is the Six of Pentacles. The basis of your reading is about equality, equal give and take, the able to give and receive the same amount, okay? So this is October 23rd through the 29th. Um, this is for the sign of Aquarius. It looks like that there's something going on. Maybe you're not, the things aren't, aren't be feeling equal because that's the basis of your weed, uh, week. Um, something needs to end. You need to leave something, okay? Something is not um, worthy of your time. Something's not worthy of your time. There's no reason to stay in this predicament. None, none. There's, there's, there's like six little people or whatever they are down there, whatever's down there, uh, fighting against him. When there's, there's no possible way that they can get to him, he's just stand, sitting there for no reason. When he can just fly away and say, "I'm done with the drama. I'm done with it." He has what he needs to go. He can, whew, gone. But he's not. But with the death card right here, it's saying that you need to. Something needs to end so that something better can begin. And with the tower right next to that, it absolutely needs to end, and it's going to. So this week could be the week that something crumbles down, something falls apart, okay, that forces a new beginning. This could be the week. It could uh, bring on um, an independence, okay, where you're all of a sudden you're on your own. It could. All right, or it could shake up your independence. Okay, it can go both ways. I see um, a focusing of your energy in a different direction. I think you're going to have a change of course. I see a lot of uh, feistiness here. Okay, there's things that are probably going to be happening pretty quickly, and it's kind of like a um, chaotic week. Okay, it just looks like. It, there's a lot of fiery, uh, feisty energy here. I think that something could definitely happen um, to shake things up. I, you guys, <laughs> you could have an unexpected choice in love. Like I said, that's and I and I hadn't really looked at this card. Shaked up, shook up your independence. Like something is going to break down. That's going to shake up your independence. So if you've been single for a while. Somebody could come in, even if you're coupled and you're wanting to end something, okay? Somebody still could come in because this is an unexpected choice in love right here. This is where you had your heart set on somebody else. You know what you want. This is where, you know, you're, you're really in a commitment. You think you're, or you want to be with this certain person. You have this person on your mind and that's it. That's the one. Then all of a sudden somebody shows up and the uh, attraction is so strong and the pull and you just know, and you go in the other direction, that's what this card is, okay? So, I mean, this week, we could have some unexpected things showing up in your life. Now, this may or may not resonate for everybody, because it, you know, isn't for every single person. It's for whoever it resonates with. 
Um, we do have some kind of desires here, addictions, um, obsessions of some sort, and I can't talk for your reading and I don't know why. It seems like I'm moving too fast. And that's exactly what's going on. I'm going to force myself to slow down. And that's what you're going to have to do this week. You're going to have to force yourself to slow down. Because I have a feisty, fiery energy. I felt it. I feel it. It's like, i got to get this out. Do you get it? You know what I mean? And that's what it feels like. So I think at the beginning of the week, that's what you're going to feel. Like things are going to be like, woo, very fiery, energetic, just very... You know, you may be impulsive, okay? And I think that you could some somebody unexpected or it could show up in your life that could shake up your independence or make you independent. Either or, okay? Either way, with the tower and the lovers, we have something unexpected coming in if it hasn't happened already. And it could cause an ending, all right? But it will bring balance back to your life, believe it or not, okay? Um, let's see. We have a lot of threes here. Um, what I do we'll cover that up. I really didn't even look at the cards when I laid them down. I just laid them down. See, there's like it's like a energy of not paying attention. You know what I mean? I always look at them. So that's what this energy is. It's like pay attention. Like I said, things are moving too fast this week. And that's exactly the case. I was trying to lay them down too fast, too. So that's an energy for you. I never do that. That is an energy for you. I did a reading earlier today, and I ended up saying something that I don't even remember saying, which was reared. It was like a one-word thing. I think, I'm not sure if it was Libra's reading. I think it was. But see, I'm feeling energy so strongly at this point. Anyway, um, I feel like there's a lot of um, high, high, high energy this week, and you're going to have to contain yourself, Aquarius, all right? I think that the, the universe, or the tower, actually, is going to break something down that is, needs to be, that forces a new start, and you could be very excited about the new start, I don't know, or it could just cause some chaos, all right? That all of a sudden, this unexpected thing, I think it's a person comes into your life and you might want to change your course altogether, okay? And you may be, have been expecting this person to come back into your life because I see some expectations here. Or maybe you were expecting for something to end and this is just the icing on the cake. You know, this just, you know, puts the frosting on. It's like, okay, here you go. I'm out of here. See ya. That's what you needed is what I'm trying to say. I do see a new chapter, all right, I see that you guys have uh, finished something big in your life and it's time to start something new and it looks pretty darn exciting and it can lead to a lot of happiness. I think for many of you, it's like a period of renewal. It is. Um, I think that the wheel is, is turning in your favor. It is. I think that your dreams are starting to come true, which is, is funny because we have this... Um, and there's like contradictions here. There's contradictions, all right? So I think that you're going to be very confused this week. You are going to be very confused. This devil is here bringing in the confusion. That's what the devil brings in. The devil brings in desires, obsession, obsessions, addictions, False entrapments. Doesn't the devil does not bring in good things? Okay, the devil brings in lessons, and you're you're learning a lesson. There's no doubt about it. With this world card, there's a lesson being learned. All right, and it has to do with you you um, your self worth. It does because this is give and take. If you give 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 and don't get 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 anything, where are you going? Does that bring you happiness? Okay. I see that perhaps, you know, this, like I said, this is the icing on the cake. I think somebody could show up into your life and you decide to stop uh, fighting um, this unnecessary battle. You know, you're like, you know, I don't even need to be here anymore. I'm going to focus my energy in another direction, okay? And this could be a mental battle too. It's letting go of something that, you know, to start something new and more beautiful. It definitely is. It's like a time of rebirth. It definitely is. With the death and the sun here, it's a time of rebirth where you can be um, 
you know, where you can be equal, all right, where you can be balanced and you can be content and at ease and in harmony, okay, that's the basis of your week, so that's what, that's what this is, it starts out chaotic, all right, it starts out very chaotic, like, just too much, like, things are happening too quickly, it's a lot of high energy, all right, and I think for many of you, you're going, you might have a choice between two people, okay, because we have a few threes here. You may receive communication from somebody and you've been expecting this communication, all right? I think you may have been expecting it for a while and, you were, and finally it comes, and it may be just a little bit too late, or it might not be, it might just be the icing on the cake, okay? I do see that there's some strong desires in another direction. I gotta do the rest of the cards, I'm sorry. See, I'm having a hard time concentrating. I haven't had this problem at all. And I'm in a great mood. It's just, that's it. You guys are gonna be in a good mood. I don't see any crying or whining or anything. It's like excitement, you know what I mean? It's moving to a better spot. Moving to a better spot where, yeah, you don't have to just walk on eggshells anymore. You don't have to watch what you say. You can just be yourself. All right. No more pretending. I think the storm is over. All right. This is the truth. The bare truth comes out. And this is this raw opportunity from above to accept the truth and move on to the next phase of your life. Okay, away from conflict. Build a new foundation. Leads to wish fulfillment. But you can't keep pretending. Look at that, there we go. You can't keep pretending that everything is okay. You can't, there's, that's what the deal is. You are pretending right now that everything is okay in a certain aspect in your life, that everything is fine. I mean, the fact of the matter is it really isn't. And you're just waiting for something to happen so it can crumble. So you didn't have to be the one to make it crumble. You know? Something, but the thing is, is I think it could crumble very soon if it hasn't already. Okay? And where there's, things come right out in the open. And you may try to escape from all this. Be like, you know what? This isn't even happening. Just, I'll take a shot of this and a you know, vodka on the rocks, and uh, I'll take that over there too. Yep, see ya. You know, you might just want to be like, I don't even want to deal with this shit. Okay? Because I, and that might, you, this is pretending. Ignoring a situation. That hurts. Real bad. Real bad. Ignoring a situation that hurts. So maybe somebody has left you and it's time for you to bring the balance and harmony back to your life. Or you're considering leaving somebody. Alright. And that hurts too. To sever ties on a relationship, it hurts. Okay. So many of you may be bringing balance back to your life this week. But that's going to be at the end of the week. Because I see this feisty, fiery energy that is pretty strong at the beginning of the week. Okay? So you're going to have to slow down. You're going to have to regroup. You're going to have to try to make a wise choice, make a wise decision. Okay? That's something unexpected. Something unexpected is going to happen. And I think that's probably around the middle of the week. All right? Something unexpected is going to happen, especially with the tower and the lover's card. That's unexpected. And it could shake up your independence. But it could be what you have been waiting for, okay? It could be something that, you know, you've just been waiting for this moment. I see there's a lot of sadness, a lot of grief, probably some regrets. Maybe there was some overindulgences within the previous relation or the one that you're thinking about getting out of. Maybe there was some addictions or some obsessions or some manipulation. And that's why you're trying to flee and escape from it. I have 
confidence. This is for Aquarius. Yeah. Have confidence. Moving forward does not necessarily require you to have confidence in yourself. Confidence in God is enough, along with knowing that God works through you and with you in all ways. Lean upon us if your confidence wavers, and we will buoy your courage and faith. Have confidence. Moving forward does not necessarily require you to have confidence in yourself. Confidence in God is enough, along with knowing that God works through you and with you in all ways. Lean upon us if your confidence wavers, and we will buoy your courage and faith. Huh. That's what I have for you, Aquarius, for this week. May or may not resonate with everybody.